good morning students welcome to the class of techno mathematics so today we will see how to represent root 2 root 3 root 4 and root 5 on the number line so let us see i have just plotted some x and y axis into the figure right now and uh, how to solve such question let us understand it first we know pythagoras theorem this is a right angle triangle a b and c right angle that b right we know that by pythagoras theorem if ac is hypotenuse bc is base and ab as perpendicular then p a square plus b a square equal to h a square right that is perpendicular square plus base a square equal to hypotenuse a square or h a square equal to p a square plus b a square right so we use the same concept to represent the all four numbers root over of 2 3 root 4 root 5 onto the number line right how to see how to just represent let us see the trick behind this right we know we need to choose the numbers perpendicular and base in such a way that hypotenuse will be come into the required format as we need it hypotenuse should be root 3 root 4 root 4 and root 5 now how how we will do it let us see mark all these four x and y axis for an representation of all these four numbers root 2 root 3 root 4 and root 5 right we will use those separate graphs for all these four right now how to go ahead let's see let, let us assume that uh, right how to solve this how to just draw this table uh, you can see if here it's p and another column it's b and here it will be h right hypotenuse because we know that h equal to root over of p a square plus b a square by the pythagoras theorem which we have mentioned over which we have men already mentioned over above right if p equal to 1 and b equal to 1 hypotenuse will be equal to root over of 1 square plus 1 square which is root over of 1 plus 1 which is equal to root over of 2 similarly if we take p as root over of 2 which we have calculated above and b as 1 then hypotenuse will be equal to root over 2 square plus 1 which is equal to root over 2 square plus 1 right in we can see square and root will be cancelled out and we are left with root over 2 plus 1 which is equal to root over of 3 right so we are left with root over of 3 so if we represent root 3 on the number line the perpendicular and base should be root 2 and 1 right similarly the third number which is root over of 4 we know that root over of 4 is basically 2 right so the representation of 2 on the number line is not very tough because you can simply go to the positive x direction and take two slots 1 and 2 then the second slot is 2 which is representation of root 4 so representation of root 4 is not very tough right so here i am mentioning its pythagoras theorem that h square equal to p square plus b square which is the basic concept which is used to solve these all questions right now what we have spoken for root 4 i am just writing it over here that uh, root 2 root 3 where the hypotenuse so as we said for root 4 we are see we can see that uh, root 4 can be represented very easily as 2 because root 4 equal to 2 this is simply plotting it on the positive x side we can directly choose the number and mark it now what is the next that is root 5 for root 5 what will be the numbers let us choose those perpendicular and bases so that 5 can also be coming as hypotenuse of that right triangle right angle triangle right now if perpendicular as 2 and base as 1 you can see hypotenuse equal to root over of p a square plus b a square that is 2 a square plus 1 a square that is root over of 5 right so hypotenuse will be coming as root over of 5 when the perpendicular will be 2 and base will be 1 right so representation of root 2 can be done into the first graph here you can see the two red lines as perpendicular and bases of unit length that is 1 and 1 you can see the table in the table the p is 1 b is 1 then this slanting line is hypotenuse which is equal to root 2 right now we can see if this is right angle triangle and the slanting line is hypotenuse then that is equal to root 2 here this is 1 and 1 now 
and O to A is of length root 2 right now take the compass and put its iron needle on O and the pencil needle on A take the arc OA and just in this way as showing into the yellow line touch it into the x axis so that when it when wherever the arc intersect with the x axis x axis this length just i am highlighting it over here this is, is equal to hypotenuse length which is equal to root 2 so here we have represented root 2 on the number line in this and this is the length which is equal to root 2 right which is equal to oa right understood fine now if you draw a circle with this radius of OA, a circle will be formed and wherever it will intersect at and wherever and wherever it will intersect at x axis plus x minus x and plus y and minus y all those are of length root 2 right because that is equal to the radius of that particular circle right fine now let us come on to the next one that is root over of 3 how to represent root over of 3 for root over of 3 for root 3 we have our perpendicular as root 2 and base as 1 so we have seen root 2 representation right now right so this is root 2 which will follow the above steps to represent root 2 and suppose this O to A is equal to root 2, right? O to this point that is equal to root 2, which is our hypotenuse earlier. But now in this case, we will consider this as the perpendicular or base, perpendicular, right? If this is the perpendicular and if we draw a perpendicular on it, that is its base at 90 degree to this perpendicular, then root 2 will be its one of the side of the right angle triangle and 1 as its base is the another side right now we will see a triangle will be formed a triangle will be formed how to see let's see a triangle will be forming here as we spoke this is the of length 1 right this is our base let's say just follow the table students just follow the table you will see how root 3 will be represented and this the green line is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle right this green line represents root 3 because that is equal to hypotenuse of this right angle triangle whose perpendicular and bases are root 2 and 1 now if this was OA as we have seen earlier black line and o to b this ob is root 3 now in the similar fashion take the compass put the iron needle on o and the pencil needle on b and take the arc take the length of ob and keeping the iron needle of the compass as fixed on o rotate the ob length mark the curve ob onto the positive x axis right in this way right here and wherever it will strike the positive x axis this is the length of ob because this is a part of a circle whose radius is ob so this is ob which is equal to root 3 so in this way we can see o to b is represented as green line below and this is the representation of root 3 on our number line right fine now what we will do we will see the third one representation of root 4 it's very easy as we already spoke earlier root 4 is actually equal to 2 right representation of 2 is very easy just mark it on the positive axis x side and this is the point which is root over of 4 right so this is very easy and this is calculated right we can we have already represented it in this way fine now how to 
plot root 5 for root 5 the perpendicular will be 2 and base will be 1 right the perpendicular will be 2 and base will be 1 as you see right so what we will do into the positive x side let's plot 2 yeah from origin in this way in the last plot yeah this one this is 2 let's say 2 the perpendicular and base can be interchanged with each other because both are perpendicular to each other right so here the perpendicular is to though it look look like a base but don't worry it's a perpendicular one of the one of the lengths should be two and the another will be one for p and b right and and draw the hypotenuse of this right what we have plotted this will be a right angle triangle just draw the hypotenuse of this yeah how to draw the hypotenuse you can see here we have taken from origin to plot it here the black line right so here the two sides perpendicular and base of this right angle triangle is 2 and 1 right and what will be the hypotenuse as we can see in the table the last row the hypotenuse is equal to root over 2 square plus 1 square which is equal to root over of 4 plus 1 which is equal to root 5 in the similar fashion as you plotted the above previous graphs previous representation just take the arc OC with the compass iron needle on O take the curve C and just mark that radius on positive X here it will strike on the positive X side right it's a positive integer right so this value is marking in red is root over of 5 right so in this way you can see root over of 5 is represented here onto the number line and uh, the red line the red line which is marked into the the red uh, is equal to the OC OC which is the hypotenuse of that last right angle triangle which we have plotted into the fourth xy plot right so this um, this oc is represented as here into the red line as root over of 5 i am just marking it over here again o to c is equal to radius and equal to root 5 right so in this way we have seen how to plot root 2 root 3 root 4 root 5 on the number line thank you students keep on learning bye bye